As you may know, our family car is this, the Suzuki Jimny. We've had it for almost exactly two years now. So we thought we'd give it another little present. We have added a couple of other bits to it. And um, the first episode um, I'll put up now on screen if you haven't seen that. But in this episode, we're gonna add a couple of functional bits and a couple of just cosmetic ornamental bits. I'm Johnny Smith, welcome to The Late Break Show. Okay, the black Jimny. So this is Mrs. Car Pervert's car, strictly speaking. We do use it for the school run. It's not a practical car, really, but it's such a wonderful, charming little beast. And we've made it work with a couple of additions. We, one of the first things I put on, in fact, about a week after we got the car, was the front runner um, roof tray, which has been brilliant. It doesn't whistle, contrary to belief. Um, it, it just does the job. And I've got two bike racks on here and a couple of storage boxes, and I will be putting a couple of other bits on this uh, later on. And that's kind of it. Everything else on the car is really something, stuff I optioned when I bought it, which has been like sill extensions, tow bar kit, um, and a couple of other uh, bits inside. But we're gonna add some choice stuff now. And I've, I'm in my brother's workshop, my brother Greg, who's gonna help me with this stuff because A, it's freezing cold today, it's snowing outside, I've picked a great day for it. And B, my garage looks crap. The thing about the Jimny is it's, it's such a fundamentally simple car for a modern car. And I could go mad and add on loads of bits. The aftermarket for these, are, the JB74s are massive, um, but I'm not gonna just smother it in bits. I'm gonna add a few bits which are kind of useful for my wife and me, uh, and other bits which kind of, I guess, improve the look of it. I uh, haven't chosen a set of wheels and tires yet. I'm gonna say that right at the top. I'm still debating what wheel and tire combination to go for and whether or not I should go for a body lift kit. Um, there's a few, and I'll put the pictures up on screen now. There's a, there's a wheel called a, a Dean Cross Country, very Japanese that I love. Um, there's a couple of other wheel companies that I'm, I'm thinking, but I haven't decided on the wheels and tires, so we're not doing those today. What I am gonna do, Two of the big mods, really. This is heavy. These are called rock sliders or tree sliders, and they go down the sill of the chimney like this. And they are properly heavy because they're reinforced box steel, beautiful, beautifully made tube and box steel. Um, and the good thing about these is A, they're good for crash protection, but the, the most important thing for me is they offer a step up onto the roof so I can put bikes on the roof more easily. Uh, so we're gonna be putting those on. And then we're gonna be, those are from a company called Jimny Bits. I'll put the uh, words on underneath. And then there's more of a decorative bar. Oh, that, actually, that. This is a, a, a popular add-on in the Australian market. It's called, um, it's called a, a chip and bug deflector, and it goes along the top, the leading edge of the bonnet. It's a smoked, tinted plastic kind of lip spoiler, I suppose. That's gonna go on. I'm quite looking forward to making it quite Aussie spec. I'm going to be adding these I'm looking forward to. Roof lights, yeah. A uh, company called Rigid Industries UK uh, sell these, um, and they're uh, an American-based uh, light company. I'm going to be putting lights across the top of the bar, uh, the, the, the tray at the front there. I've got four of them. And I haven't gone mad with the size, the diameter. These are actually four inch. I could have gone for crazy big ones, but I wanted to keep them, A, fairly aerodynamic with the right look, but B, I also wanted to make sure that I didn't go uh, crazy with the, the kind of the resistance, the aerodynamic loss. So these are 360 series, four inch, one, two, three, four across the front. Let's see how we get on fitting those. And then you probably can guess from the packaging what that is, old school retro bull bar. Uh, and I'm hoping we can fit that and it fits fairly snug to the original bumper. Some people go for a sort of really clipped front bumper uh, for extra clearance off-roading. I don't really like the clipped front bumpers, it's not really me. We are gonna do some off-roading in this, but not like really hardcore. I can't fit all this myself. Well, actually I can, it would just take me about 14 days. So, uh, like I said before, I've borrowed my brother Greg's workshop. My brother Greg is just over there, avoiding the camera.
The first mod I'm going to do is actually pretty functional. It's these heavy duty, they call them tree sliders or rock sliders, and they fit along the sill of the chimney. Proper off-roader guys use these, so when you're traversing uh, and you hit a tree or a rock, it slides along these, and these take the brunt of the damage, not the car. Uh, they bolt onto the chassis. They're incredibly well made, these rock sliders. What I like about them is they fit flush to the sill, really tight. They don't stick out like a buck tooth. But what I like about them is I can use these as a step as well when I'm putting bikes on the roof, because I've noticed that my wife struggles to be able to lift stuff onto the roof, even without a body lift kit or anything like that on there. Uh, I'll put the link for these in the description below, but they're made by a company called Jimny Bits. And my brother's already opened the packet and we've looked at the, the build quality of the bracketry and stuff, all powder coated and it's beautiful. Really, really beautiful kit. So let's see how well it goes on. Shall we? This side's now finished. It uses existing bolt holes, like I said before, don't, don't have to drill the chimney at all. It mostly bout, mounts onto the body mounts of the car because it's a separate body chassis. But I like the fact that the bar is quite close to the sill. I optioned it with the extra silver sill protectors, which means the gap is even closer. But I just think they're, they're subtle, they're neat, but they're also, they're really damn strong. I mean, they are armored. All right, we're immediately under the car. Greg will say hi in a minute. This is the bull bar. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> Wrong camera. <laughs> what are you on? What's the other one? Oh, there. Hi. <laughs> uh, he loves, loves the world of TV and video. Um, so we're going to fit this on the gym. This is um, made by an Italian company, actually, and I'm going to unwrap it. And the Italian company is called Miss... I can't print, Miss, Miss Sutanida. Yeah, Miss, would you say it's Miss, Miss Sutanida? Yeah. And it's stocked in the UK by Truckman, who, where, which is the website I found it on. They are serious scissors, buddy. It's fair to say that you normally work on old stuff. Yeah, normally. Like before the war, before the war. any of the wars. Yeah, <laughs> Because he's family, he's allowed in my bubble, which just sounds wrong. Yeah. Well, do you remember in the, old, the, the early days of bull bars when they, some of them were outlawed because they were too dangerous? This one is EU... On ranchos and stuff like that. Well, and this, yeah. this one's EU compliant. So in other words, this is not really a structural um, member. You'll see on the bracketry um, that's on that table. The bracketry that bolts this big tube, it's, it's actually, it is fairly thick, but it's not, you're not going to be, you wouldn't pull this out of a ditch. No. With the bull bar. By the same token, you wouldn't want to be hit by it, would you, particularly? No, but it's made, it has to comply with the EU regs, so it, 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 is, it is a legal use item in the UK. You can get it in polished, but I didn't want polished, it would look a bit too jingle jangle on this. Plus, chops really likes black cars with black stuff. She really wants black wheels on this. I'm not sure I want black wheels. They look a bit too dark. Miss Sue Tanida. Miss Sue Tanida. Miss Tanida. Yeah. Now you can, I think, get these in varying uh, girths as it were. But like I said before, this is more of a kind of um, cosmetic addition. The thing about the Jimny is quite retro. I've in fact found some really nice retro side graphics for it and I did buy them and they came from China and Mrs. Car Pervert just went, not a chance. But I'll put a picture of them on screen, they're very cool. This is, this is the approximate position of it and I want it to try and fit as tight to the uh, bumper, as the original bumper as possible. I actually think it looks pretty cool, but we'll see. Greg, see you, as you can see from the instructions, when I ordered the Jimny, it, I, I ordered it with an extra styling pack, which is just this extra bit of silver plastic over that, and it's the same on the sills. I hope that this doesn't foul that, but I think there's a level of adjustment on those brackets, so you can move it in or oh, out. Oh, I see. So that is proud of where the standard bumper would be, is it? Yeah, by about okay. a centimetre or something. The good thing is, if I don't like it, it bolts onto existing parts. None of the bits I'm putting on this car today require extra uh, drilling of the car. Because I, I don't want to drill the car. It's a two-year-old car, for goodness. It's the first brand new car I've ever bought. Is it? Yeah, never bought a brand new car before. No, neither have I. 
I know you bloody haven't. I definitely won't. You've never spent more than a thousand quid on a car. Actually, stop. As it turned out, the bump up was a bit more hassle than we realised. And I'll tell you why a bit later. Not all the mods I'm doing are big and serious. In fact, some of them are tiny. A company called Jimny Style that I've got a couple of bits from, uh, they do this fresh from Japan and it's just simply a keyhole cover. The Jimny has some simple uh, conventional keyholes in the doors in case the remote doesn't work. And you can just buy these little blanking covers. I thought they were quite natty. So I'll put them on right now. It's not the most technical thing in the world, look, it's magnetic, but it's just a neat little blanking plate don't pressure wash it, because it'll probably fall off. As more and more little add-ons come to market for the Jimny, the side repeater is a very simple trick. It's LED clear side repeaters to replace the traditional bulbs, orange ones, so I'm gonna do that right now. It'll take maybe a minute. Just clip that tab in there. That's that off. Clear. Click. Done. Let's just check it works. Yeah, there you go. Slightly better, and these are from Jimny Style, the same company I got my rear light clusters, the G-Wagon style rear clusters from, and they're LED as well. So in the future, I'll probably do LED front indicators as well to match the LED headlights, which the SZ5, which is the top spec Jimny comes with. I like that. This is another neat little add-on, and this is actually quite practical, because although the Jimny is quite rugged, there are a few vulnerable areas, and one of them I found is in the tailgate here. There's two connectors for the heated rear window, and they're just these spindly little wires and spade connectors, and when I'm loading stuff in and out, I'm always worried that I'm gonna get hitch it and probably pull that wire off. So, a company called Jimny Style, who I get a few bits from, they sell this lovely Japanese imported, nice little flush cover. It's only a, a stick-on item, but it's actually quite useful. So I'm going to fit that now before I snag my rear heated window element. They are sided, so I'm just going to see that is not that side. That's what I do love about the Jimny is the fact that there are loads of little add-ons. There you go. Look, it's just just double-sided sticky tape. It's nothing more complex than that, but the, what it does, I think, is really useful, and that's all I care about. So I've cleaned the area immediately around it. See, the thing about the Jimny is, obviously, it's a cheap car by new car standards, and you can see where they've cut corners, but because the aftermarket is so rich with little bits, it's quite fun looking for all of these little knickknacks. Well, can't speak for everybody, but I think it's fun. Here's another little small, but actually quite helpful mod. Again, it's from Jimny Style. It is a mobile phone holder or just a general knickknack holder in the door handle. So door handle, conventional handle up, but this neat little add-on goes underneath using the existing screws and it's got a foam bottom oh, so you can put stuff in there. It's another nook for you to vacuum but it's useful. I'm going to add that now. And this is why I love the Jimny because I mean look at the door card it's just a simple single pressed piece of plastic but also this adds a layer of extra practicality because the thing about the Jimny is storage is your nemesis really. So you want to increase as much storage as possible with the space you've got. That's what I'm going to keep doing. There you go. Ta-da. The brother G-Unit 
thinks he has a fix here. Now, of course, like I said before, the quick way to do it would be to drill a hole, but we didn't want to do that because we wanted to mount it where it is and use the existing rails in this front runner rack. So Greg has machined uh, his lovely lathe here, a bit of tube. Yeah, spacer, aluminium spacer. A bit of tube and, and the spacer allows it to still um, stand proud of this ridge here and it's behind it rather than in front of it or on it. Um, and that's quite neat, a little bit more error and it's, you've still got a bit of articulation here, yeah? Mm -hmm. And of course you can slacken it off because it's on this rail. You can, you can position them wherever you want on the rail, but also I suppose you could move, you can have the two outer ones slightly yeah, out. You could aim them at the... Yeah, like in Scandinavia where they always have the two outer lights facing the hedges in case of moose. For sure. For sure, you know. Um, that's Dutch, they don't have moose. No. Anyway, um, <laughs> so that's the theory. We're going to put the other three in. We're going to um, paint those spaces black. The brackets are already stainless and that'll look really nice. Then we'll, we'll run the wiring down the A pillar here. There's a, there's a channel here next to the screen and this, this panel here is quite oh, neat. That's, that's that's, there's goes, enough yeah. of a gap there to get the, um, the wiring. And because they're LEDs, they're not a big draw in electricity. So. Oh, and there's actually a gap beside the screen. Though, yeah, and that's, that's, that's where what, it brings it. Yeah, Alex, the chap at um, <coughs> Buzz Special Vehicles said, just use this channel, that channel, and that. You don't need to drill damage oh, the body. It's really good, right? Mm. Sweet. So that's what we're going to do there. We're going to machine those three up. And once we've done that, we're going to knock it on the head tonight because it's late and my brother needs fish and chips. And I'll come back and do a few more bits tomorrow. OK, it's the next day now. Uh, it's still blooming cold outside, so we're still using the workshop. Whilst Greg um, is putting the front bumper back together from this massively convoluted removal process that we hadn't anticipated, I'm going to start on the back by putting a, uh, a roof ladder on the back, made by the same company that makes the box and the tray, Front Runner. Um, I've got that from Jimny Style, the company that I've got quite a lot of the mods from. Um, and it's supposed to use existing holes on the car. Again, I don't have to drill the car, which is uh, one, of the, um, one of the mountings for the rear door and I think one of the spare wheel mounts. So I'm going to unbox that and do that whilst Greg's at the front. We're also waiting for the paint to dry on the little spaces that Greg has machined up and painted to mount the four roof lights, which we'll do in a bit. I've got the front runner ladder out and just like the front runner tray roof that I put on in, in, in the part one of the Jimny mods, uh, it's kind of flat pack really, but it's really beautifully done flat pack. And this is gonna be a lot simpler than the, the tray roof. I do like the quality of this, this gear. It is very, very good indeed. And very kind of methodical instructions, which for a thicko like me is very helpful. But as I thought, I can see it mounts on the lower hinge of the rear door and then has a stay which goes across to the spare wheel holder. Uh, so it should be quite self-explanatory. Let me go and get my Allen key. I've assembled the front runner ladder which goes on the tailgate here and I've got to take off the spare wheel because it uses that point there to tie in with this spare wheel bracket and then that bracket there goes onto the bottom hinge. I've got to remove that cover and then the top bit here hooks over the open door like so, sort of. <laughs> Got to be really careful of the paint. Super carefully. Oh, I think, have I got it? Have I got it? Come on, Johnny. Do it without damaging the two year old car. I'm not, you, ah, okay, that's off. So there you go, now you've got the exposed hinge. Undo those two bolts, which I think are 13s. Yeah, they might be 13s. Let's check. 12s.
One thing we've definitely learned with this ball bar is if I hadn't optioned my wife's chimney with the silver embellishment pack, we could have bolted it on in less than half an hour without removing anything. But what it hasn't told me is if you've got this, there's a clearance issue with the ball bar. So we've had to take the grill off, uh, the radiator shroud and the bumper in order to then hopefully fit the ball bar. This has come off, which I wasn't expecting, but that's what I'm gonna do. I'm doing it all for you. So if you're considering buying this particular ball bar, bear in mind, if you've optioned this, it won't be a direct fit, okay? Uh, this is like a little clip-on um, embellishment part, made in Australia, popular with the Australian market. It's called a bug deflector, I think, or a wind deflector, and it fits along the leading edge of the bonnet, flicking the air up over the windscreen. That's the, that's the theory, anyway. I think it's pretty basic, uh, he says. And this part has come from a company called Truckman, the same company that actually have supplied this particular ball bar. I'm going to get cracking now. I quite like these. They're popular on a lot of pickups in the States and in Australia. Not seen so much here. You can get a couple of different shades. I've gone for smoked, dark smoked plastic. Goes something like that. Right, I think I've um, got it just right. I'm just checking the alignment of the wind deflector. Just to check it with the, the shut lines here. And, uh, and then just tighten it. It's got these little pads. It's basically assembles with a couple of screws and a couple of uh, rubber pads and clips. I quite like that. It's subtle. That's all right, I like that. This is another quick practical fix that I got from Jimny Style. As I've said before, the problem with the Jimny is storage. You're always trying to optimize storage, especially if you use it as a family car. So this is the storage tray. It goes in the center console and it fits on the carpet, I think, with just, it's really simple, just Velcro, cup, an additional cup holder, because the Jimny's got two and they're actually really small. And it's got some rubber pads, which stick in there and stop it from swimming around. So I'm just gonna go and stick that in while the G unit there finishes the lights. Now we're gonna wire up the rigid lamps using the proper rigid wiring harness that we've bought, uh, which includes a switch which we've put in a blanking panel. There's a couple of blanking panels down by your right knee in the chimney, and that's where this is gonna go. Greg and I are gonna wire this through, through the bulkhead, try and get this neatly down the A pillar now. Uh, this comes from the same company that I bought those from the Rigid Industries UK shop, uh, or if you don't wanna fit it yourself, you can use uh, Buzz, special vehicles who are the company who fit this sort of stuff every day. <laughs> but we're gonna do it ourselves. I don't profess to be a Jimny expert at all. There's a couple of people who are really bonkers about Jimny's on YouTube. And one of them that I really recommend is called Geordie Jimny. He's obviously a bloke from the northeast of England. But he also makes extras to add onto his Jimny himself. And one of these is brilliant. It's like a little pack of leather wraps that go over the, um, the handbrake handle. Uh, the grab handle on the passenger side and the door handles and you can get them in three different types of leather he makes them himself embosses them himself and has an etsy shop and i'll put those details on screen or in the description really fantastic i'm going to put these on our chimney just to make the tactile bits inside a bit more high class Right, we've pretty much fitted everything we wanted to fit and I'm really pleased with it actually. The front ball bar was a lot more hassle than I anticipated because of those optional silver embellishments, but uh, I'm pleased with the way it looks actually. The rock sliders are fantastic. They'll help me get onto the roof. 
the ladder on the back my wife will love because she can put the stuff on the roof what i haven't shown you is a couple of bits which didn't arrive thanks to ups um, and they are some waterproof kind of expedition bags which go on the roof with some tie downs from front runner i'll put a library picture in to show you but they help us when we go away as a family of four we can use all of the space on the roof along with the two bike racks Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to The Late Break Show. If you want to see more content with The Jimny, then we will do some more. It's two year birthday is why we've put all this stuff on and I will be awarding it very soon, I think, with some suspension and, and some wheel and tire mods. Thanks for watching.